بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everybody. So I aim to solve the exercise and exercise using inequalities. Using inequalities, determine the limit of the following sequences. First one. U n equal to sin n over two n. The second one, the sum from k equal one to n. N over n squared plus k. The third one, U n equal to n factorial over n power n. The fifth and the last one, the sum one over the square root of k, k equal one to n. We start by the first one. We have for all n in n, sin n less than or equal one, greater than or equal to minus one. 1 over 2n is positive, so if we times the double inequality by, by 1 over 2n, we will get here 2n, here 2n, and here 2n. When n goes to plus infinity, this goes to 0. And when n goes to plus infinity, this goes to 0. This implies that U n goes to zero when n goes to plus infinity. This concerns the first example. The second example, we have the sum from k equal one to n, n over n squared plus k. This is less than or equal and greater than or equal. <laughs> For k equal one, n over n squared plus 1 is the the, great, the greatest value between, between the terms, the different terms of the sum. And when n is equal, k is equal to n, it will be the smallest one. The sequence, the sum, is less than how many times from n, from 1 to n, n times. So n times the greatest one n over n squared plus one for k equal to one and it is greater than or equal to n times the smallest one one n over n squared plus n when n goes to plus infinity, we have n squared over n squared plus 1 over n squared. This goes to 0 and this uh, to 1 and this uh, side goes to 1 when n goes to plus infinity. This means that this sum, this sum converge to 1. The next exercise you and the next uh, example, you n equal to n factorial over n power n. We have n factorial over n power n. This is greater than zero and less than n times n minus one times times one over n over n over n. This is less than or equal 1 over n1 times 
n minus 1 over n is less than 1. And we do this, except the last one, we will let it 1 over n. <laughs> when n goes to plus infinity, this goes to 0. This means that this means that you n converge to 0 when n goes to plus infinity. The last one, the last one. I need base for the last one we have u n <coughs> the sum from k equal 1 to n 1 over the square root of n <coughs> the greatest one is 1 1 over the square root of 1 is the greatest term and the smallest term is 1 over the square root of n and we have from 1 to n, we have n pipes. So this is greater than or equal to, to n, the square root of n. The square root of n, which is equal to the square root of n. When n goes to plus infinity, this goes to plus infinity, which means that this goes also to plus infinity. It is very simple. <coughs> The next one, the next exercise, exercise four of the uh, sheet 10. <clears throat> Determine the limit of the sequence Vn defined by <clears throat> Vn equal to Determine the limits of the sequence. Determine determined by defined by uh, q power n. Q belongs to R. So the limit, the limit of q of, of v n when n goes to plus infinity is equal to the limit of q power n when n goes to plus infinity and this is equal to if q is equal to 1 so 1 if q is equal to 1 and minus 1 power n if a q is equal to uh, minus 1 between minus 1 and 1 it is equal to 0 if q is less than 1 and strictly greater than minus, minus 1. It is equal to minus infinity if q is strictly less than minus 1. And it is equal to plus infinity if q is greater than 1. Uh, for uh, minus 1 and 1, uh, it is uh, so easy. Uh, for zero, we can just uh, use the definition, the characterization. Suppose that the absolute value of q is minus uh, less than minus one. Then we prove that the limit of q power n is equal to zero. Zero indeed. For all epsilon greater than zero, we can find a rank n of epsilon such that starting from this rank. We have u n minus minus zero less than or equal uh, to epsilon or strictly less than epsilon as you wish. We start from this, so q power n less than epsilon. Uh, the logarithm is an increasing function, so q the logarithm of q. Uh, and the logarithm of q is less than the uh, logarithm of epsilon and since q is between uh, 0 and 1 this implies that n is greater than ln epsilon over ln q absolute value of q this is negative so when we uh, take it to this side we switch the, uh, the the inequality and since ln epsilon is negative and 
and then the absolute value of q is uh, negative this is positive <coughs> so it is sufficient to take the integer part of ln epsilon over ln absolute value of q plus one uh, why ln epsilon is negative ln epsilon is negative because we are interested just for epsilon for epsilon between one and zero otherwise if epsilon is greater than one in this case uh, what uh, do we have we, we know that a q uh, power any integer number if the if the absolute value of q is less than one so any for any absolute value uh, of uh, any number which is less than one this implies that this is uh, less than uh, one uh, which is less than epsilon if we take uh, if we take epsilon strictly uh, strictly 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 greater than mm, uh, here uh, this we deal with epsilon less than one and uh, greater than zero for epsilon strictly greater than one this is obvious this is naturally verified so we are not interested in epsilon greater than than one uh, if epsilon is equal to one we have here zero uh, and any uh, num natural number any natural number uh, is greater than uh, zero uh, or equal so this one uh, will fit very very nice <laughs> the second question <coughs> of the exercise four the second question <laughs> is to uh, is to determine the limit <laughs> Uh, about plus infinity and minus infinity we use the same technique uh, we will uh, easily verify that uh, this is true uh, second question uh, evaluate the limit of the sequence uh, un defined by the first one un is equal to 1 over n plus 3 over power n un is equal to a power n plus b power n the nth root and the last one the here a and b both of them is greater than zero real numbers and the last one is 3 power n minus 7 power n over 3 power n plus 7 power n when n goes to uh, to plus infinity <coughs> we start with the first one uh, we have uh, 1000 uh, way to uh, answer this question i will use just one we have one over n plus three power n this is less than or equal and greater than or equal this is less than or equal to three power n because if we add here some two positive numbers this ration is less than one just one uh, of the two uh, numbers or more and we know that 3 power n is is greater than n so this is less than 1 over 2 plus uh, times n from the uh, previous uh, question this goes to plus infinity so one, one uh, over plus infinity is equal to zero so this goes to zero and this goes to zero two which means that the sequence goes to zero one and goes to plus infinity very easy for this one for this the second one we have a plus b Without loss of generality, we can suppose that A is the maximum, the maximum between A and B. In this case, this will be greater than A, which is equal to A, which is equal to A, and less than uh, 2, 1 over N, A. This is less than a power n plus a power n to a, a power n 
power 1 over n it gives us as this when n goes to plus infinity when n goes to plus infinity this goes to 1 so and this goes uh, this is equal to, to a so the uh, the sequence u n converge to a actually it converges to the maximum between a and b we can do this we can suppose that the maximum is b and it will goes to b so in the both cases it goes to the maximum the last one for this video u n equal to uh, 3 power n minus 7 power n so we have 3 power n minus 7 power n over 3 power n plus 7 power n this is this is uh, um, I think that I do not need uh, to uh, so we take 7 power n over 7 power n 3 over 7 power n minus 1 and here 3 over 7 power n plus 1 we cancel this with this and the remainder goes to this goes to 0 and this goes to this 0 from the previous exercise from the exercise q power n 0 0 so we get minus 1 the result is minus 1 Thank you very much. See you all next time.